been a while since I posted. Apologize about that. Got injured, working, life, you know how that is. Um, just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick update. Uh, should have, uh, should have, could have, would have, if you want to go ahead and call it that. Love my cruise. Like I said, it's amazing. Got a little upgrade that I'm hoping may go ahead and uh, give me some of my lost mileage when I uh, got a little jumping of the gun. And um, what I did was when I purchased these, uh, I, don't get me wrong, I love the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss tires. They are incredible. They drive. I don't have any road noise, no more than anything stock. Um, my only issue, and it's not the tire's fault, it is 100% my fault. Um, that fault lies with uh, <laughs> me not waiting for the LT, or I'm sorry, the uh, SUV rated uh, Baja bosses in the 265, 60R18 sizes to get them off a of back order and then return to in stock status. I jumped the gun and I got the uh, <laughs> E rated, LT rated um, Baja Boss tires because those were the only ones they actually had in stock. Um, don't know if you know what those are when compared to the regular SUV ones. Now, the regular SUV ones are a three-ply rating. So a three-ply sidewall, I believe same as the uh, BF Goodrich, uh, the KO2s. If I'm mistaken, please uh, leave a comment in the, in the comment below. Um, but I believe it's a very good significant sidewall designed to reduce punctures, you know, for off-roading if you want to air them down. Um, mine also have, like I say, that same three-ply. I'm going to get the SUV rated, but mine... <laughs> These are the LT, which means they are not three ply. They are actually 10 ply. Um, there is a pretty significant drop in mileage since I went ahead and uh, increased my rolling weight resistance quite a bit. Uh, these things are probably over 70 pounds a piece. Um, way too much tire for this truck. I will tell you that right now. Way too much tire. I mean, these things have a rating of what like over 3700 pounds per tire i mean there's no way i would ever use that but of course i wanted the tires i had the rims or the new wheels and uh yeah i got those so i'm trying to restore any way shape or form some lost sentiments of my mileage and it dropped probably by a good four to five so uh yeah so what i am actually trying to attempt to do today is a little small thing Hopefully I can go ahead and uh, might give me a little bit of reprieval from this mileage. And that is because uh, since I have the Rhino cargo rack up there, I decided to purchase with it this. It's going to be a wind fairing. going to see if I can't somehow cut down some of or increase my lower my, I guess, resistance when it comes to air. So I don't know, maybe I'll get maybe a mile or two back miles per gallon. I doubt it, <laughs> but anything is worth a shot at this point, <laughs> dropping everything. I'm break it before I even put it on. So yeah, I'll let you know as I progress uh, how it looks out uh, here and uh, how it works when it comes to driving. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Take care. All right. And there she is, all installed. It actually was not hard at all, really. Now, one thing I did do differently, since I do have the cargo rack on top, and I wanted to see if I can go ahead and get a little bit of mileage on there while still maintaining the use of having that up there. So what I did was, I didn't usually apply it or attach this thing to the actual bar like you would actually, well, like it recommends. Otherwise, this thing would be kind of coming down through here and it would kind of be defeating the purpose. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of create an air dam right here that works with the cargo rack. So with this particular Rhino front fairing that I got, this wind fairing, it allows me to clip these things in here pretty good, actually. You can kind of see them just kind of all down there in the fours. Yeah, four sets of them there. And then this thing is a nice little rubber deals right here. So. I shouldn't get any, you know, flapping or anything like that. So, yeah, hopefully it'll uh, 
it'll work out better. You know, hope I can get a little bit of that mileage back. But yeah, that's uh, that's what it looks like. Not too bad. Yep, not too bad. Yeah, you got it nice and symmetrical on there. Yeah, good enough for government work, right? All right, well, stay tuned for more stuff I'm gonna be doing to this thing. Like I said, little things here, little things there, they all add up to bigger things down the road. Never try to overextend yourself by trying to do too much. So little things here and little things there. But yeah, so far, she's uh, coming along nicely. Yeah. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe.